Thanks a lot for being here, taking your time just to um, just to hear what I have to say to you, because I'm going to uh, speak today uh, the engine behind the personalization. And um, just to introduce me, my name is Mark Mark Buscher. I'm the CEO of BND Merchandising, and um, I just put the next slide where we go through today. So um, first time is where we where we come from, what runs us and uh, what our beliefs are, that's quite an important point, and about uh, our product portfolio and the challenges of the daily operation, what is really, what we're really doing day by day, and then of course the solution, what we found, and um, also a, s a kind view how we, um, how we do it in our production, because we are solving it for barcodes and logistics. And at the end, of course, the results. Okay, let's start. Um, we, are, we were founded in '95, so we are quite a while around. And um, we started importing T-shirts and textiles from South Africa and distributing it to Germany. And we found that the, the quality of the textiles was too bad. So uh, we started to produce the textiles in Portugal and Turkey and so on. Um, and also and sold it to the business sector more. We had clients more in the business sector than uh, like consumers. So. Um, we embroidered and printed these t-shirts or these textiles with uh, different suppliers. So the, um, the, the suppliers, they couldn't um, deliver us the quality we wanted to have, so we started our own production. So we bought our own uh, embroidering machines in 96 and printing machines also in 96. And um, then our clients asked us, asked us if we couldn't offer them also like promotional items. So we added some promotional items like pens and wallets and uh, lanyards and so far. So then we go to like a full service supplier from our own premises for our clients. And an absolute milestone was 2010 when we decided to found to implement the IT department in our company. We were running internet shops since 2004. Um, but we thought um, that it might be really good to have all the competence inside our house. So we um, decided to uh, implement this IT department. Just now we grew over 30 employees and uh, that's not so important. But what is important for us is that, that we have different departments. We have a sales department, we have a buying department and of course we have a graphic department. And uh, the most important department is the IT department and also production and logistics of course. So if you see the picture, uh, we understand ourselves more like the sneak sneakers, a little bit used, like running 20 years around, but we are very sportive. And the red paint shoes is more the demands of our clients, and they are sometimes crazy. So, Okay, we come to our beliefs. Uh, I like this picture. Just look in the eyes of this guy. He's just a believer. He believes he's a superman, and he believes in all these things he's doing. I think he can, he's believing that he can fly, but he knows exactly that the stone there is just 10 inch high, so nothing will, uh, will happen. In the same way as a guy, we're also believing in the things we are doing. We know that we are not able to fly, that's for sure. But uh, for example, that's a, one of the mega trends is the personalization. It's not a mega trend anymore. It's here. It's present. It's a present. Um, and we think it's, it's, uh, it's so important because everybody belongs to a group. Everybody of us belongs to a group. But it's individual that, the, that, that everybody of us wants to be individual noticed as an individual in the group. So to stand out of the group, it's a good thing with personalization, individualization things that you, can, that you can be aware out of the group. So and this works for the B2C sector, that for us B2C sector is a consumer sector, and consumer sector, and B2B is business to business. So we have lots of business clients and it works for both. So another belief is that e-commerce is the future of business, that's sure, that no, we, everybody knows it, that it's true. And we have to convert our, our normal old school business into the new business. And for us, it was very important and we, um, to have everything, all the fulfillment things in-house, because that we can run all the productions very smoothly and um, go all to th uh, optimize the processes and so on. And uh, also to give our cus uh, customers, um, the, to supply them the needs they have and just flexible, fast, and transparent as possible. So that uh, um, the, the product range we are, we are offering, it's more an unlimited edition, because it's not really limited in this, pro in, in this part. So from textile-wise, we are um, offering t-shirts, polos, and much more, also textiles and also jackets with, uh, with fun like functional jackets, for example. 
And, and what we are doing, very special, is that we are refining these textiles with print and embroidery and so on, and we make out of a standard textile, we are using standard textiles, and we, we, are, we are, uh, are able to, to make out of a standard textile really an individual textile for each person. So we have different production lines, like embroidery, uh, we have different embroidery machines in our company, we have uh, printing machines, and we are more focused to the digital printing machines, direct to garment. And uh, we have a textile laser in our premises. It's a 11 meter laser. It's one of the biggest in Germany, I think, we have. So there we can also do some crazy things like applications and so on. And of course, we have a department who is able to check, change the labels, the inner labels, like take the, uh, the label out and put a really nice label in, like a brand name, for example. And that makes the textiles so very individual. Um, and of course, we are able to use all the combinations of it. So you get a textile with a print, with embroidery, with a different label, maybe an application on it. So that's quite unique. Um, okay, we offer also like the promotional items because our client asks for. Um, and the one point is only the point here. It's a small point here, but it's one of the most important points is that we supply e-commerce e services to our clients that makes individual and personal merchandise possible. So, okay. We, when we have done our old business, we were thinking about how the business is going to be in the future. So uh, Thomas and me, um, we thought how we are acting as a buyer, as a consumer uh, in the normal internet world. So we are sitting at home, uh, for example, in the living room or in the bedroom looking TV, watching TV, having the iPad in front of me and maybe the third device on the, next, on the left hand side on the other side. Side. So I am just ordering, so my order process is I go to Amazon for example, put one item in the store, in the, in the, in the basket, and order it, go through the checkout process and ready. And then I ordered only one piece. And then we thought uh, we are producing for our business clients um, 100, 200 pieces and they're waiting for that three, four weeks at least. And we are um, just, he, they're preparing Excel, tab, uh, Excel files and send it maybe with fax. So the behavior from the consumer like me or like you is totally different in the private sector than in the business sector. And so we were thinking what the challenge, what the challenge is, how to, to swap over the, uh, the consumer behavior in the business sector. So because I am also a businessman, I'm a decider in the business company. So I'm private and I'm a decider. So we started to divide all the processes we have in our company in small, little, tiny groups just to, to find out how lean we can do the production and how fast we can produce just to offer them one single piece on demand over an internet shop and that he gets delivered it two or three days later, latest. That were the challenges. And um, then we thought, okay, the optimal control of resources and assets and creating a lean production environment is so important because if we offer one, only one piece, it must be lean. It must be unbelievably fast, the whole production. Nobody has to speak. That it's, it's not allowed uh, to, to make errors in between. So you have to eliminate er all the errors and also the direct communication. I mean, we are selling over an internet shop and all the data files from the internet should arrive on the database directly. You have interfaces for it. And from the database directly in the machine, you need interfaces and it has to work. And uh, our goal was just that the, 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 the customer, the customer orders and we have a ready file, ready to print and uh, that fulfills all demands. And of course we were thinking when our idea is good, then we're gonna grow. Because then we had to look that it's scalable. So we have all these processes, and if we grow in the next two, three years, maybe 10 times bigger, we scale these processes, and that's quite easy because they work. And that's also was the challenge to find out how we can um, eliminate the errors and to um, and that, that we scale the processes, let's say, uh, at the end. So, and of course, if you do that, you can stay competitive. So we were looking for a team, for a supplier of software, for example, and also of, for machines uh, who can offer us all these kind of points that we solve these challenges we had. And uh, we looked around for a while, and uh, then fortunately, we found Pulse. So they offer us uh, a perfect setup for the um, for the interfaces and um, 
and for all the, all the other things that we can put all the things together. So as the, um, as the picture you can see here is like the iceberg, on the top you just see the front end what the user sees um, of, the, of, the whole, um, of the whole software and the whole thing we are doing. But the real strongness is really hidden underneath the water surface. So the Pulse ID, what we found was that they're offering us vectors that we can print and also embroidery files which we can directly lead into our embroidering machines. That was the solution for our interfaces to the machines. So they're also offering that the, the interfaces from the internet shop directly to the database, directly in the machines. That was the most important goal uh, we had to solve. So, but on the surface, which I mentioned right now, um, it's just with pulls together, it's, um, it has an unbelievable, um, how it's called in English, um, potential of, 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 of being creative for your customers. Because it's not just upload a photo, or I take this file and put it on a t-shirt. You want to have a personalized, individualized graphic or t-shirt for, you, for, you, for your own, just to stand out of the crowd. And with Pulse it was possible to mix also the motifs, to change the elements, to change the colors of the elements. So there you can be really creative and that's really personalization, individualization. So it unleashes the creati creativity of your customers. And uh, I'm just going to show you on the internet shop later on, two slides more, how it works and how it looks like and how easy it is for the customer. And that's also... Um, and very important that for the customer on the surface it must be easy that the checkout process out of the internet shop is really smooth and really fast because if he orders he wants to order now it's an emotional thing and the true the, the smooth transactions through the internet shop is all important and now we come to the unseen advantages that these files the the, the consumer created in the shop and ordered we can print and embroider directly without delay we don't do anything on the machine, we just press the button. Are you going to show you how we're going to do it, the process? Nobody has to do it, it's only the, the guy in front of the machine, he has to press the button. And then we can directly print the order or embroider the order. And, and exactly the design and the graphic um, they created. So um, we, get receive, we receive production ready files. So that's, that's quite important because you can, uh, if you do manual, if you put the designs manually into the machine, it's always the problem that you make, that you force, force errors. That's maybe a problem. And to force an error with one, one single piece production from one order, maybe for 20 euro, it's a nightmare. You won't, uh, you, w you will not earn money anymore if you do one error. So the process has to be lean and has to be fast and without mistakes. Um, so important was for us that the Pulse ID um, delivers us, supplies us both sides of interfaces from the internet shop to our database and from our database directly in the machine. And the, then we get exactly uh, the file which you created in our shop into the machine. It's one to one. We have to do nothing. We don't have to move the position. We don't have to move anything. We just press the button. So, and so we could, key, uh, could achieve our keys like to keep the cost low of course, if the process is lean and we have to do anything, nobody has to do something there, that's fine. And of course, we have um, we could increase the production speed and capaci capacity. And in the future, we stay competitive. Capacity. Okay, I just want to show you some shops, Thomas. Um, how we how we change the the graphics, the motives, and the designs within the shops, and how creative the consumer can be at the end when he's ordering in the ordering process. And for example, before he starts, maybe you can... Does it work? Okay, perfect. So it runs a while, I think. Ah. Ah. Technique. Okay, the technique will, will solve the problem because usually you should see the internet shop now. Okay, um, but for, for us was also important, just to unleash the creativity, that we are able to do multi-shop systems with the software. We want to have one shop, two shop, we want to have 50, 100 or 1000 shops. And that's possible with Pulse ID. And uh, also we want to have, if we grow, we want to have not one machine, we want to have more machines, like one or 100 machines. And that's possible with the software. So, <clears throat> because Thomas has no micro, Hope it works because it's a it works. so it works. 
So just that's a normal one online shop we are running. <clears throat> so it's called Smake. Smake stands for shirt maker, style maker, I don't know. So Thomas is doing, I just go here, still understand me. He just uh, took a file, a printing file on the t-shirt. So now you see in the printing file are different, um, are different motives, different elements. Ah, I go here, then you can see it better. So these are the elements. That's the whole file. That's that's normal. You just upload a photo or something, like print and press it, press it down or, or print it down. So here you have different elements, and that's the whole thing. And now Thomas, and that's for print. And now <clears throat> the same motif we have also as an embroidery, and that's pulse. You have printing and embroidery. I hope internet is fast here. Okay, that's embroidery. It's the same file. You see, and now you can see what what how creative a customer could be. He just extended it, scales it, and behind, the number of stitches are counted. And what you can't see here is, also the price is now, you, you, you can see the price. Okay, you see, for example, the price for the, for the details, it's refinement details, you see, okay, that's print and that's embroidery. Ah. Ah, okay, you, you directly count the money together, it's okay. So now, Thomas, we show you how the consumer, what the consumer could do if he, if he's so creative. Uh, we have chosen this motif because now it's barbecue season outside, so maybe can everybody can identify themselves with it. So he just um, put one away, and now he deleted all the other things because he has something in his mind, something really special. So and now you can change. So all the elements are deleted. You don't have to use only one, one motif. And what he's doing, you had the square, now out of the square, he's doing circles. What's coming on? Stay square. And an octogram, in English, maybe, octogram. So remember, that's print and that's embroidery. Now he changed what you're doing now. Okay, just a frame, another element. So be individual. You personalize your own design at maximum. Green, I don't know. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, now, now there's coming something special. Because now we are combining print and embroidery together. I'm not sure how many companies can do that, but with Pulse ID you can do this. So he's choosing Okay, first deleting, so yeah, the internet connection is, <laughs> so if you're at home sitting in front of your computer it goes quite fast. Okay, he deleted all the other signs behind and he set the embroidery file on top of the printing file. And now it now it's very individual, you have printing and embroidering. Okay, now changes the, the writing, the letters. <laughs> it's the English, English version. Yeah, great. Of course, there's a tool in between for, for letters, changing lettering and uh, kind of different, different art of letters, which is behind the embroidery files. So, so always remember, I, I think you can't see it right, maybe you can see it also the, um, the photo here, how it looks like, it looks like embroidery. It's really embroidery because when he's changing the embroidery, when he's working on the embroidery files, it's directly on our database because the interface is always speaking or delivering information through the internet to the shop on the database. So everything goes simultaneously. Okay, now he's changing the fire, the color of the fire, I think, or because fire should be red, it's not black. And now forks and knives are boring. Uh, meat, is much, meat is much better, maybe. So you choose meat. Okay, and of course the color of the meat is not black, then it was too long on the barbecue. So just change it in red, so it's perfect. So, 
Okay, now maybe it's, it's ready. And now he just put it in the, in the basket. Uh, change, oh, change the color of the shirt. You can also change the color of the shirt, of course, because if you want to have a blue shirt. And you see all the, it's the same. Everything is the same, stays the same in the same place. <clears throat> so, and now you have the normal order process. You put it in the basket. And, uh, and now the files are on our database, exactly like he has done it. Exactly the files. If he goes went further through the order process, like paying it, PayPal or what else, is on our database. And when we get the information, we are ready to print. To print and embroid. Here have more information at the checkout process. We make it safe, we make it really safe. And this is all the interface play, uh, playground for, for with, with Pulse ID, with our machines and our own software. Okay, great. Thank you. I hope you could see that it's very, there are lots of things to do in this kind of um, um, software, that's changing the elements and the motives. And that is what's really, really, really special, and that's personalization and evaluation, not like a normal photo upload. So now I have to try to come to back to my presentation. Before I come to the SMAKE process, how are we going to solve then the print and so on, I just, um, I like also this, for just be, be focused what you are doing and be focused on um, that you don't make any mistakes in this process. And if you don't want to make mistakes in this process, you need the right team for software and machines and product and production process behind. That's so important. If one, t one team player is wrong, it will not work. Because if you have m one mistake, single piece production is a nightmare. So, if you work online, uh, personalization on demand, don't lose time, don't lose money, and don't lose clients, just, look, uh, just choose the right team. So we are glad that we, uh, that we met Pulse, and there's Trevor sitting there, so later on if you have some questions, you can also ask him what's about the, the deeper things. And um, yeah, what we what also is quite important is the machines behind it. So the machines behind it has to fit also to the software. So, for example, for the printing area, we are using Cornet machines. So everything, all the interfaces are directly connected to each other, and it works. So that's only the experience I can say that works properly and works works without mistakes. So maybe quite interesting for you the process how we are doing it. It's not allowed to photos make photos. <laughs> It's top secret here. We are um, okay, but that took us a while. That took us a while. That took us about four years just to uh, program it and to 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 find the right solutions for the for the smallest process to optimize all the process. For example, we start here at number one at the client. Uh, you see, it could could be uh, the business client or could be the end consumer client. The business client is in his uh, ERP system. And we have an interface from the ERP system to our internet shop. And the consumer, the end consumer client, P2C, is just on the internet and goes to our shop and lives on our shop. So he's in the shop and selects the articles or the items he wants to, and then he's creating the designs like we have shown right now. Um, just put your personal name on it and so on with the Pulse ID. That, behind that is the Pulse ID. And then from one piece on. Of course, we are there able to use vouchers and all the kind of things. As soon as he orders and put it in the basket, if you're a consumer, it's directly on our bar database, as I said, all the orders. If you are the, the consumer gets a confirmation email, of course, and the B2B or the business consumer, they, um, they need maybe further information, they have a confirmation pro, uh, progress uh, process uh, in their company. So we lead all information back into their system with our interface. That is a lot of saving process costs for our business clients. With our business clients, we are not talking about the price of a t-shirt or a polo shirt, because to saving process costs with the interface and using this shop is enormous. So, okay, um, we get the confirmed order from the business client, or we get the confirmed order from the consumer, like he paid, for example, by PayPal. And um, then we have all the things in our database, and we are ready to produce all the things. So it's landing. Um, in, our, in our warehouse, <coughs> the guy in the warehouse, and we pick uh, the, the textiles, um, he has a screen where you get all the orders. And then they get, they said, oh, we have to go to this box or to this box. And he goes to the box, and now the important thing, we are solving everything with a barcode system. When he picks the item and scans the item, 
there comes a barcode out of, out of a barcode printer and he prints, uh, he presses the barcode on the textile. And in this barcode, all informations are hidden. It's who, who, uh, who ordered, who we ha where we have to deliver, and which kind of file he used, or which machine it goes, and so on and so on. And then he picks it, puts the barcode on it, and gives it in the production process. We have a center where all articles are arriving, and then in the center they're scanning the product, and as soon as they scan, they see on the screen, uh, this has to go to the print department, and this has to go to the embroidery department, and this has to go to the refinement department. Now this t-shirt, our consumer has chosen, has ordered, went for example for the, to the printing department. The guy in front of the machine is just scanning the barcode, put the t-shirt on the machine, press the button, and can go to the next machine and do the same. You can be 100% sure that with the barcode system, the file they ordered and took in the basket and was on our database will be printed on the t-shirt. So, when um, he printed the t-shirt, it goes again to the center and then it went through quality control or maybe his embroidery uh, has to be um, bring on it. And, but at the end, if it's, if it's ready, it goes to quality control and then it's ready for shipping. We are shipping UPS and DHL and we are shipping national or international in over 35 countries from our premises out from Germany out. And what do you think how long the progress needs when we get the confirmed order? From here, basket, until here. You won't hear me. Ten minutes. We have measured it because we have between each process, we can measure the time, of course, just to optimize more and more and more. And the record we had was about seven minutes through the whole process. Quality control, everything. Okay, that's quite fast and that's quite lean, I think. It's not every item, of course. So sometimes, but, but our goal is just if you, if you uh, order today, you have to have it the day after tomorrow. And that's the goal, and that's internet, and that's e-commerce. And for that, you have to have uh, all the right processes and no mistakes, please. Okay, um, yeah, that was our vision we had, and that's what we, what we made out of it. So uh, our goal was to offer a high-quality brand and personalized single-piece production. We have done it. Um, with textiles and other promotional items and on demand quickly and site time okay impossible but in the end so but we succeeded and in the moment we have a more than an assorted of more than 3,000 uh, articles no minimum order quantity um, on demand um, and we deliver throughout the world you can um, order here and we send it to you to the states or what else for our business clients it is so cost efficient for our business clients. They're saving so much process costs. I didn't write it down here. So what, what, but, but, uh, what we did in the whole process, uh, when we worked old school, so we eliminated the error rate to 0.001%. But of course, it's not allowed to make errors. So, I mean, that's quite good. And this is not because of the data we get wrong data from the, from the database or something. That's quality control or maybe a theme of a shirt. Uh, we reduce operating costs by more than 30% because the guy was standing on a machine and just now he, he don't have to do manual things on it. He just press a button. He can use not one machine, he can use two or three machines. So that's uh, quite cost effective. So we increase the profit, of course. Um, that's our main target. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we are able to, to make people in the group, the zebra is standing for the group, uh, for a nice, uh, a nice animal in a group, but every zebra is individual through his signature. And we say that our clients, we make them colorful. And they are standing out of the group. So thank you very much for your time. Presentation, if you have any questions, just ask me or Thomas or maybe Trevor, he's from Pulse here. Because I think that the most important thing is the, um, the interfaces from the internet shops to the machines. Thank you very much.